hello youtube in this video i'll be showing you my updated start to finish knotless braid routine this style actually took me six and a half hours to complete and y'all they turned out good but it took a long time so yeah let's get into the video so we're gonna start off with my hair looking like this don't ask me why i decided to start this style at 10 o'clock at night but your girl was like sick of this hell so i had to do something to it so far as products, we're going to be using the Freetress Kanika Line Hair in 28 inches, the Shining Jam for our parts. And when I start knotless braids, I usually go ahead and separate out my hair to make it easier and try to make this process go faster. So I just put like really small sections of hair and then put it on my yarn spool rack. The rack allows me to keep the hair separated and it's just easy to pull from that rack whenever I'm ready for that piece of hair. So next, we're just gonna go ahead and wash my hair. I make sure that I wash my hair thoroughly so my scalp do not be itching because y'all, I'm gonna try to keep these in for at least two weeks. So after I wash my hair, I go ahead and dry it like normal with a towel. Next, I detangle my hair with a leave-in conditioner. I actually separate my hair in sections and then put the leave-in conditioner on and then detangle my hair from the bottom up. Once I have that piece of hair detangled, I uh, twist that section and then move on to the other sections that's in my head. So once I'm done detangling, I will add some oil to my scalp. My scalp tends to get really dry really fast, so this just allows my scalp to stay moisturized. I do massage that oil into my scalp. After this, I will go ahead and blow dry my hair. And if you haven't seen my blow drying routine, you can check that out. But I do put heat protectant on my hair and then start blow drying. One thing about when I'm going to do knotless braids, I try to get my hair as straight as I can during the blow drying process so my roots don't have any waves, just to make the knotless braids look more neat. Okay, so we finally about to start the braiding process, y'all. And if you've been paying attention, it took me about an hour to do all of that prep work. But anyways, first I sectioned the front of my hair off. And I just do two sections, one on each side. And then the back portion of my hair, I just put in a ponytail just to get it out the way. I'm going to start in the front just because, yeah, it's just easy for me to do that. So when I start my parts off, I go ahead and part it on the side. And then I put shine and jam in the parts. And then then make my lines more crisp with that rat tail comb and then I will start to feed the hair in so one thing about knotless braids is that you do add each of the pieces of hair in separately and you'll see it better as the video goes on but I actually add my extension in to the middle portion of the plait that I already started and I just kind of wrap that hair around and then just kind of braid down and I usually add three to four pieces of the extension hair in and then braid that hair all the way down and before anyone asks me why am I adding weave it's because I wanted to okay so anyways here is a better look of how we're going to add that hair in normally I will go ahead and separate it into three sections and then I will start by starting my plait, and then I will add the extension hair to the middle portion of the braid and then connect it with my thumb and then wrap that around and then do that motion three times while adding in the extension hair. So you'll see me here pushing it up to the braid with my thumb and I'll be doing it again, pushing up to the braid with my thumb and then braiding it down. So for the next couple of minutes, you'll actually see me doing several knotless braids throughout my head. I did want to tell y'all about a knotless braid playlist that I have already on my channel. This playlist has anything to do with knotless braids, such as how you take care of your knotless braids for longer wear, some different styles that you can do, and also it has a video on how to do some goddess braids as well when they are knotless. So I am going to link that playlist up above, and yeah, check it out if y'all want to so also when it comes down to the front of my head you will notice that i made those sections bigger and put little swoops in the front just because i did not want to put a lot of tension on my edges so yeah i just thought it would be cute to try to add some swoops in the front y'all so yeah I'm 
All right, y'all, so we are about two hours in, and this is what we have done so far. And so far as the size, I think these are medium braids. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, but I am really liking this size. They're not too big, they're not too small, but it is taking me a long time to complete them. So yeah, if you don't know anything about knotless braids, they do take patience, but they are worth it. So the front half of my hair is done. And as you can see, it only took me about three hours, which is a mess. But anyways, you see how long these are and I am loving the length, y'all. I think that's really why it's taking me so long to complete these. But here's what we have so far. Um, I think it looks good with the exception of some crooked parts, but y'all know I ain't worried about these parts, honey. So yeah, let's just get on to doing the rest of this hair. All right, y'all, it's almost 6 a.m. And as you can see, I am finally done with my hair. And so now it's just time for me to add some mousse. This is a new product that I've incorporated. It's from Shine and Jam. And it's to make sure that any flyaways are not there. And I love it, because just look at the consistency. Isn't that just oddly satisfying? It actually looks like shaving cream or whipped cream. But I just apply this all the way down my braids to get rid of the flyaways. Next, I will curl my ends by using perm rods and placing them into hot water. And I will leave it in the hot water for five seconds and then dry them with the towel and then I will remove the pine rods for a pretty curl. So I wanted to add some decoration so I did add some little gold hoops to my braids and y'all this is the final look. Y'all, I do really like these braids. It did take me about six and a half to seven hours to complete them. And I know y'all gonna say she must have some patience, but y'all, when you cheap, you gotta have patience. I also wanna say my arms were super sore the next day, but you know what? I needed that arm workout. So let me know down below if you ever completed a style like this on yourself. If so, how long did it take you? Or do you even have the patience to complete something like this on yourself? All products that I use will be linked down below as well as that playlist about knotless braids that I mentioned earlier in the video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified every time that I post something so you don't miss something. And I'll see y'all in my next video.